Welcome back to the Sheep Herder Show. I'm Doug. I'm your Sheep Herder. And today, welcome to another edition of the Sheep Fight Back. Now, before we get into it, please remember to subscribe, share, and leave comments. And why do I say leave comments? Well, that's part of the Sheep Fight Back. Now, let's get to today's sheep. First sheep, Yeewow. Yeewow? Yeewow. And Yeewow writes, and this is replying to my uh, video I did on the North Carolina uh, demented preschool teacher that's mentally abusing three and four year olds with pregnant men flashcards. So Yeewow was offended by my take. And Yeewow says, men can get pregnant. Man, do I have to read more than that. Yeewow. That's my new thing. Instead of wow, it's going to be yeewow. Men can't get pregnant. It's called trans men. Yeewow, isn't that women? Anyway, let me finish. If you guys are so worried about protecting your kids, then properly educate yourself. I'm kind of disappointed that me, as a minor, knows more than a grown adult. Yeewow. I love that. Yeewow. Men can get pregnant. Yeewow, you're a special kind of stupid. It's called trans men. Yeewow, that means it's a woman pretending to be a man. You're once again a special kind of stupid. Yeewow. Now, you do say you're a minor, so I'll handle you with minor gloves. Yeewow. I love that. I love it. I, I, uh, shit, I'm going to be saying that all night in my sleep. Uh, properly educate yourself. I think you just made my point on that whole video. Because apparently somebody poisoned your mind when you were a young child. And I hope it wasn't a teacher. I'm getting serious here, here now. Uh, the fact that you, at a young age, think that this is not only... First, you think men can get pregnant. Dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. Find me one pregnant man. And I'll find you a woman that's pretending to be a man. Yeewow. Yes, everybody should be worried about protecting their children. Yeewow. And educate ourselves. Like I said, blow me away. Prove me wrong. Find me that pregnant man. I want to shake his hand. Yeewow. Please get help. We're here to help you, but I think you need something serious. You need a couch, you need a team, some qualified shrinks. Maybe get yourself a good lawyer to uh, litigate against whoever indoctrinated your mind like this. It's scary. It's scary. This is why we're fighting teachers mentally abusing three and four year olds. But thank you for my new shit. I need a. Please make a t-shirt that says Yee Wow and send it to me. Yee Wow. All right. Next sheet. Sean Brown, step up. Be noticed. You're brilliant. 99% of the world knows Trump doesn't have what it takes to be a lawyer and is interested only in Trump. Wake up and look at the world. Sean Brown. You must go hab. Which is bad backwards, because you're a dumb fucking sheep. 99% of the world. Let me clue you in, Sean Brown. 99% of the world. You said, wake up and look at the world. 99% of the world's laughing at Joe Biden. That's what the world's doing. 99% of the world think people like you are fools. Because when they see Joe Biden, they laugh and they think, what kind of fucking idiot would vote for this guy? That's you, Sean Brown. You're that kind of fucking idiot. Congratulations. You must be proud. How do you get through life? Maybe you're the father of Yeewow. I don't know. It would make sense. Maybe this all comes together like that. So, Sean Brown, you get three Yeewows today for being a dumb fucking sheep. Now, the final sheep today, Greg Trembley. 
Come on down, get your hay. Greg says, if you believe the orange guy or this site, you're lost. Biden didn't lose, so shut up. It'll save your country. Wow, Greg. I, I don't know what part of your statement's the dumbest part. You know, I could put a survey out for you if it helps. And maybe they could rank all your state parts of your statement, one through five, from the dumbest to beyond stupid, or however you want to do it. Uh, just the fact that you use the word orange guy just cements the fact that you are controlled by mainstream media. Congratulations. You ooze with stupidity. And then you mention our site. If you believe this site, you're lost. Well, thank you for finding this site. You're my lost sheep. I'm bringing you in, Greg. I'm taking personal interest in you. I'm the sheep herder. You're my lost sheep. And then you say Biden didn't lose. What part of uh, 81 million do you think is real? The part where they put him in a parking lot in front of the teleprompter with four parked cars? The part where he sits in his basement and they protect him? The part that they have the Easter Bunny babysitting him? Biden won. Congratulations. And then you tell me to shut up. Why? I need to help people like you, Greg. You're my lost sheep. I need to help you find your way home. And then you say, it'll save our country. What part of our country is being saved right now? What, what part are you proud about? Is it the oil crisis, the gas crisis, the inflation crisis, the Afghanistan crisis, the baby formula crisis, the border crisis? Holy shit. You know, usually you go from one crisis to the other, and then you start another one to cover the first one up. But Jesus, this guy's a juggler. He has like 20 crises flying all over the place. And there's Greg. It'll save your country. My lost sheep. All right. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Sheep Fight Back. I only got one thing to say. Yee-wow! Sheep herder out.